These are the wild geese, 150 exiled Irishmen serving in the army of His Most Christian Majesty Louis XV of France, the most powerful ally of the Stuart cause. Brigadier General Walter Stapleton, Commander, Irish pickets of the French army. Yes, we are here because Prince Charles is a Catholic. It will be a fine thing for all Catholics when Charlie's on the throne and German Geordie's off it. Yes, that's right. If we had a Catholic king back on the throne in this country, then we could get back to living in our own. You must remember that your Protestant king in London has passed and is still passing penal laws against the Catholics in Ireland. Me, I'm from County Tipperary. Now I've got to live in Boulogne. Now you won't find a Catholic Irishman with much cause to love George II. One fifty-eight. The McDonald's, dismayed at the sight of the advancing cavalry, themselves draw back. Kepok, one of their leaders, runs forward with other clan officers to encourage them and is shot through twice by musket ball. About him, his men turn and run. Time, 1.59 p.m. The rout of the Highland army begins. They're leaving the field except for two small units. These units, the French and the Irish. The French and the Irish. Let them through. Stand your ground. Walter Stapleton, Commander Irish Pickets, cut down with 100 of his men as the Scots about them run. <laughs> 